Do you know how many big names in racing history started on Formula 3? You'll learn this and much more in our review for the RSS Formula 3 mod right here, right now. Greetings Petalheads and welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to It's a Mod Mod World, where we test new and old mods that could add to your enjoyment. Today we're going open wheeler with a mod by Race Sim Studio. Race Sim Studio has published mostly open wheeler mods near to the Formula 1, but also some GT cars. Most of them are paid mods, which are in high regard by the sim racing community because of their great quality. They published not so long ago a mod for Formula 3 that we are going to test right now. But before that, I would like to give a shout out to the channel of Cody Swanson, who makes great short films. I hope if many of you subscribe to his channel, that will give him a motivation to continue doing those great short films. You'll find the link in the description of this video. And I'm not saying that because he's a subscriber, but because the short films are really 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 good talking about subscribing how about you subscribe to this channel because if you want to know more about what mods are out there for your enjoyment and become part of the rum rum family subscribe right now and click on the bell you won't regret it moving on to our enjoyment let's see if the rss formula 3 mod fills that cup Yeah, okay, I'm in a monocoque with Halo, hello, and the feeling is quite immersive. I do really feel as if I would be in a formula car. It looks quite detailed, I even have a chassis number. Whoa, very low underbody. Nice detail of the back, and is that a DRS that I see? And is there a motor in the motor? Nope, no motor in the motor, but as I always say, this is only a detail for freaks like me. I like how the tires reflect the light, it's a very special way, very rubbery. And I like that, it's a very nice, very good detail. And a thing that I only noticed when watching the replays, look how the tires change color when they get dirty. That's of course a bug, but uh, it seems to be quite obscure. But it happens also to the cars of the other racers, even AI racers. For me, the motor at the moment sounds subdued, but let's see how it sounds when I'm driving. Nah, motor still sounds subdued like not as strongly as they sound in real life. I got the impression that in real life they did sound nearer to Formula 1. Am I wrong in that? As can be expected from an open wheeler, this car has a massive downforce that allows you to take curves at speeds that with a GT car you would not be able to. And again, as can be expected from an open wheeler, you have to be very precise on your braking or you'll block the tires. While at first I was okay with the force feedback being quite soft, the more I put the car into the edge of its physics, the more difficult it was to find out where the edge was because the force feedback did not give me enough information. I didn't feel much of the braking and the throttle, 
and only a little bit of the lateral forces which brought me often enough into a spin that I could have avoided if I would have had more information from the force feedback. This of course resulted in hairy <laughs> to catastrophical situations. Whoop Not being able to be precise in the steering or throttle and brakes and not feeling what the consequences of your actions are on force feedback is of course especially bad when you're racing open wheelers. Don't believe those who tell you that the halo is no problem. It's smack in the middle. Often enough I have to look around the halo to be able to find out where the apex of a curve is. I hadn't realized how near Formula 3 is already to Formula 1 until I drove this mod with regards to gearing, with regards to downforce, with regards to throttle, brakes. It's quite similar to driving a Formula 1 or better said a Formula 1 mod, so of course I've never driven a real Formula 1. And given the vast experience of the RSS team in making mods and making excellent mods for Formula 1, I'm pretty sure that this Formula 3 is quite near to reality in Formula 3. All criticism of force feedback aside, it's great fun to race this car against the AI, so I suppose it's even more fun to race against your friends or other humans. Try it out because it really is something else. Oh yeah, the question at the beginning. We don't know how many big name drivers were in a Formula 3 at one point because there's an enormous amount. But we can tell you that these are some of the names that drove at Formula 3 or the precursor of Formula 3 and are big names. Sterling Moss, Graham Hill, Jackie Stewart, Ricardo Patrese, Ralf Schumacher, Jacques Villeneuve, Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher, David Coulthard, Valtteri Botta, Sebastian Buemi, Lucas Di Grassi, Paul Di Resta, Loic Duval, Antonio Felix da Costa, Timo Glock, Jamie Green, Lewis Hamilton, Nico Hülkenberg and Sebastian Vettel. Once in Formula 1 that were Formula 3 drivers, but now not anymore, 19, still in Formula 1, 9, as of 218, these are the newest data that we could find. And let's not forget, Formula 1 is a big racing series, but many of the drivers once driving Formula 3 can be found in many other series like Formula E, DTM, WTCR and a lot of others. If you want to make a career in racing, Formula 3 seems to be a good place to be seen. Formula 3 where drivers go to learn to become champions or at least to become much better drivers. This mod looks fantastic, I like the detail with the rubber that really reflects the light like rubber does. Okay it has no motor but who other than a crazy guy with VR would go and check the motor. So for the look I give it 5 eyes out of 5 because it's earned them. From what I've heard in videos as I've never been to a Formula 3 race, the sound of this mod is not what you would expect from Formula 3. I don't know why they did not make it more similar to Formula 1, which is the sound of Formula 3, especially RSS being a group that has published a lot of Formula 1 mods. The sound is kinda subdued, the sound is well done but not similar to reality. Therefore I give it 4 ears out of 5. I know RSS is a good group and I know that they have a lot of fans and rightly so, but I gotta say I'm underwhelmed by the force feedback and therefore underwhelmed by the driving feeling. While I myself am the first to say that I'm not a great driver, I hate it when I don't feel that I'm losing control of the car. If I don't feel I'm losing control of the car, I'm gonna lose completely control of the car and not be able to correct it. That's what force feedback is for to give you a realistic feeling of how the car would behave or how the forces are working on the car. This is not something that I felt here. With regards to the rest, it's a fantastic immersion, you really feel like being in a Formula 3 car and it's lots of fun to drive. 
but still for the driving feeling I cannot do anything else than giving it 3 wheels out of 5. Now make no mistake, through all my protesting this is still a fun car to drive. Of course also because it has a lot of downforce so you can drive into corners at a much higher speed than you would normally do and that is fun. Having fun, enjoying racing is what we are all about so we have tons of videos sharing the joy of sim racing, check them out. Thank you very much for watching this video, if you liked it applaud by giving it a thumbs up and share it with others, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to become part of the ever growing Rom Rom family and to be informed about new videos and if you already did thank you very much for that. Until the next time, save fuel, collect pickup and we'll see each other at the podium. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans.